We're in the city of Slavyansk and at one of the many humanitarian aid centers that have sprouted all across East Ukraine to try to deal with the problem of displaced people. Here, they mostly hand out food. I'll show you a little bit of what they give away. These bags for families, they have bags of pasta, some canned goods, to try to just bridge people through this difficult period as they wait to see what happens before the fighting ends. This is supposed to be ceasefire time, but we're told by the people here that they have seen a disproportionate number from the town of Debalseve. That's because the conflict there has not stopped despite the ceasefire. And in fact, today there are reports unconfirmed by the rebels that they claim to have taken over most of the town. Now, if that if in fact is the truth, uh, there's going to be a lot of questions about what happens to those thousands of Ukrainian soldiers who have been holed up under siege in that town. Many people we spoke to here, or one woman we spoke to here, was talking about a very difficult situation there, a humanitarian situation. There are dead bodies in the streets, houses destroyed, and of course the question of what happens to those troops. What happens to them, how this conflict ends, will have huge bearing in how this ceasefire progresses, if it does. Nalayed, CBC News in Slovyansk, East Ukraine.